Before the pandemic hit, Euphoria's second season was way darker. It's far from a happy show, but during filming, many scenes were changed to better accommodate the actors and the needs of the series. We're diving into just how much changed along the way to bringing Euphoria to our screens. Number 1. This girl has not had it easy. Rose had a rough go, facing trial after trial, and at the end of the second season, she was initially meant to continue to spiral to the lowest of lows. But lucky for everyone, Sam Levinson and Zendaya decided to give Rue a shot. Working their way through the series, it became evident that there needed to be something to hope for, and if anyone deserves a break, it's Rue. The character's journey in the second season still goes to very dark places that they'd planned to explore, but instead of a total catastrophe, Rue gets by with a few scars. And thank goodness, because we are not ready to see her story end anytime soon. Number 2. Less drama? Can't always count on it in Euphoria. Let's throw back to Nate and Maddie's messed up Russian roulette scene. The intense interaction was a tough one to watch and especially for the actors to film, and they almost got out of doing it completely. None of this drama would have ensued had they gone with the original storyline, Maddie anonymously delivering the explicit disc to Jules. In this far less dramatic scenario, we would have seen something very special that even Alexa Demi was looking forward to. There was a part of me that really wanted to see that happen. I think the way it goes down keeps the story going, and it's drama. That's for sure. Number 3. Everything was left on the floor in this one. Believe it or not, this scene didn't start out so brutal. When the actors first dove into it, it was a pretty lackluster argument, devoid of the fiery passion we know these two are capable of. Sydney Sweeney wasn't shy to speak up about it. We were like, there's so much more here that we could do that's pent up. Let's build it. They didn't have to ask Levinson twice. As soon as Sweeney suggested they go bigger, Levinson churned out five pages worth of dialogue, and Alordi and Sweeney gave it their all. Number 4. Anyone wonder where Kat's been? The audiences miss her, but rumors from behind the scenes seem to have some answers as to why Barbie was hardly in the second season. According to crew members, Barbie and Levinson weren't getting along so well because she didn't agree with the direction Levinson was planning for Kat, mainly a storyline about Kat having an eating disorder. It was a no-go for the actress, although Barbie has been vague about what the deal is with her character in the second season. Kat's journey this season is a little more internal and a little mysterious to the audience. She loses her marbles a bit, just like everyone else in this season. The theme is everyone's gone a little crazy. Barbie did walk off set a couple times, and with that kind of tension between herself and the director came a lot less screen time for Kat. Number 5. It bothered the actors as much as it bothered us. Martha Kelly was actually in tears reading the scene between her and Rue at her house while she was on the run. Lori seems to be taking decent care of Rue, drawing her a bath, and getting her some morphine, but in the original script, Kelly was meant to fully undress Zendaya before getting her into the tub, and uh, well, let's just say the scene was leaning towards major creepy vibes. So intense that Kelly didn't even feel comfortable filming it. The actress didn't request for anything to be changed, but she did talk to Levinson about her discomfort. In the end, the director changed it, leaving the camera more out of focus than initially planned for the scene and pulling back on those creepy vibes. Number 6. On the very first day, Maddie and Samantha's oddly sensual moment when Maddie unzips Samantha's dress originally saw Minka Kelly's dress drop to the floor, leaving her totally exposed. Kelly wasn't totally feeling it, not understanding why it was necessary since she didn't even know very much about her character or what her storyline was going to be at that point. The actor was ready to work, but she told Levinson she'd be filming with her dress staying on the whole time, and the Euphoria creator didn't put up a fight about it. Number 7. This might be one of the best couples on Euphoria. We actually have Maud Apatow to thank for the Fexy romance. I love Angus, I hope he loves me back. Chatting on the phone with Levinson for hours led to the two realizing just how great a match Lexi and Fez would be. Angus and I, in real life, have a funny friendship. It all just happened. It all felt right as soon as we started talking about it. It feels right to us too. Number 8. How much more exactly? We see Cassie very exposed throughout the series, even when she's wearing clothing, like the legendary pink bathing suit. Shockingly, this was a lot less than originally planned. Multiple scenes were written to have Sydney Sweeney topless, but the actress didn't always feel it was necessary to the story. Levinson's response? Okay, we don't need it. And for Sweeney, that worked. She never felt like Sam has pushed me or was trying to get a nude scene into an HBO show. When I didn't want to do it, he didn't make me. 
Number 9. Every script is a new adventure. Nate is unpredictable on Euphoria, and it turns out his plot points are a bit unpredictable for Jacob Elordi, too. The actor has a basic idea of what's to come for his character while filming, but more and more, he found himself in scenes that were created spontaneously, leaving the actor no choice but to go with the flow no matter where the Euphoria train took him. The actor got to a point where he just had to embrace whatever intense content came his way and react to it all in real time as it happened. Number 10. It's hard to tiptoe around just how intense the show can be. Chloe Cherry was used to being pretty exposed on camera, but she wasn't expecting to be totally naked filming her very first scene for Euphoria. The actress didn't say much about it, but her scene partner wasn't a fan, thinking it would be excessive, especially considering the fact that the two actors had literally just met. Levinson was on board to get Cherry fully clothed, and they went on filming. The actress was still covered in fake blood, but having clothing on was a bit of a lighter way to go. Number 11. Tense conversation, emotional realizations… these two had it all. But off the bat of filming their special episode, they were kind of let off the hook. Levinson had to do something. I remember he added the very last bit of the scene, where she says, I don't want to be here anymore. He added that late. We got those pages maybe two days before we were going to shoot it. Coleman Domingo embraced the changes that came his way, even with quick turnaround times for learning the scripts. Luckily, it's not hard to memorize because everything has an action and they help build on the other thought. And so I find that you can manage his scripts if you're just honest and you go on the ride. And what a ride it is. Number 12. He did kind of have it coming. Nate doesn't have an easy go in the show, but he is in the show a lot, which is very different from the original plan. His story was meant to start and end in the pilot. The script initially saw Nate's body being found in a cornfield after Rue took him out. Yeah, we're in shock too. Euphoria really is tough on its characters. Number 13. He almost saw the end too soon. The actor suspected Fezco wasn't going to be around much anyway, but he didn't make too many assumptions when he first began. Then once the pilot was being shot, Jacob Elordi mentioned what was in store for Fezco, and it wasn't pretty. The character was meant to be a goner in the first season, but after the team witnessed just how magnetic the actor was on screen, they knew they'd better keep him on the show. Cloud was pretty gracious about the whole thing anyway. I don't know how I was going out, but hopefully I would have gone out like a G. We have no doubts he would've. Number 14. We thought there was a lot to begin with. Anyone remember the explicit locker room scene in the first season? We saw a whole lot more private parts than we'd anticipated, but in fact, what we saw was the toned down version. The homage to a similar scene in the movie Carrie originally had over 100 appearing, but it was a no-go from HBO. Number 15. We could have seen Rue from the very beginning. Off the top of the first season of Euphoria, we get an image of a baby in utero. Cute. But the original scene was a full-on birth with the camera zooming right into Leslie's legs as she was having Rue. HBO felt it was too intense, even for them. And for Levinson, this particular sequence wasn't really worth fighting for. Just how intense can Euphoria get? It feels like the options are endless, and with such a versatile cast and crew, we get raw, emotional, and pretty special moments, even if they are pretty dark. Which scene would you have liked to see done differently? 